So now, dear student, we are going to apply the last quote of Prasta, which is a finishing quote. So we have seen that the finishing quote is applied over the second quote of Prasta, which is a floating quote, which has already hardened. Okay? So the step to be followed when we apply this last quote are the similar as the previous one. That is why the first step is to imidify our wall. Then, after ensuring that our wall is well weighted, we come up to the batching and the mixing. Remember about the mix ratio for this coat of plaster, which is equal to one to six, as one part of cement and the six part of fine sand. So we just find a way to mix the motor. So in order to obtain a coat of uniform thickness. We have to use those wooden strips. They have the size of the required thickness of plaster. Okay? That is why we fix the strip on the both end of the wall. Then I take this wooden float and I put a small amount of, of motor. Then I, st I start to apply. Okay, so Marie, when we are dealing with the finishing coat, we start from the top of the wall. Then we work with, we work with the small area after applying a coat of plaster in a small area. We try to remove the excessive motor between those strips of, of wood. If there are some remaining holes, like those ones, those irregularities, they must be filled with a motor.
So after removing the excessive motor with this straight edge, we have to use this wooden float in order to provide a uniform resurface. So how to use this? First of all, spring the water over this wooden float, and then also we apply the small amount of water over the plastered surface, like this. So this is the process of floating. We use this float in this manner. When you are floating the surface, you have to be ensure that there is no pins remain on the plastic surface or any holes. That is why if the pins are remain, you can take the small amount of motor, then try to fill it. and use a straight edge. To remove any excessive, excessive motor. Okay, then continue to use this wooden float. You see how to use a wooden float. It makes a zigzag movement. Then, when you finish to float our surface, you can use the straight edge in order to check if there is any gap. Use this straight edge to find if there is any gap between the plastic surface and this straight edge. There is no around space between this straight edge and the present surface. Even the paper cannot pass through between the surface and the, the straight edge. So we continue to apply the finishing coat. The finishing coat is applied starting from the top of the wall to the bottom of the wall.
So when you just finish to float our surface, because we need to provide a slight smooth finish, we have to use this steel float. We just finished to smooth our surface with this steel throat. So, dear student, when the surface is well toward at the high rate, this can cause the cracking of plaster. That is why we have to use this sponge in order to eliminate the excessive throwing. The sponge must be wetted before use. Okay, I think it is clear. At the end of this finishing, our last finishing coat will be looks like this. It will look like this. So now, this coat must be cured within three, three days, okay, after eight to 10 hours, we have to water the surface in order to ensure the proper hardening of this surface. Thank you very much for your kind attention. See you next time.